Hey there guys and welcome to the next time lapse here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. I got a lot of requests to do something besides paintings which was which is uh, what I've been doing for the uh, past few time lapses every Friday. So uh, I'm going to do, be doing a uh, bifold wallet in this uh, time lapse instead. Um, I think the major disadvantage of making a wallet instead of like the paintings is that it does take a major amount of time to make the actual wallet and that's what you're seeing me do right now. So the good thing about the painting is that I can just, you know, apply some strips to the canvas and then immediately start working on the decoration. But with the wallet, I kind of have to spend a decent amount of time making the uh, actual wallet, which you can see here. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing a few more wallets, though, in the time lapses just to break things up a little bit. But um, like I said before, it does cut into the decoration time, so I can't make it too complex. Otherwise, you know, the video will be like 15 minutes long. So even sped up to four times, which is what this is This is uh, sped up to. So just connecting the sides of the wallet now, we're actually going to be making a playing card wallet in this video. Not made of playing cards, it's going to have playing card designs on it. So there you're going to see my Disney Blue, Disney Blue Pass on there for my credit card. Cutting out all those images now. This is being done on a Westcott brand cutting tool, uh, cutting mat, which is actually uh, three feet by two feet so that's why you can't see any of the sides on the video because it's way too big you're not gonna be able to see the sides at all definitely a huge cutting mat I didn't double over on the top of the credit cards like I normally do I didn't put that little trim on because it doesn't really make it too much of a difference in this tutorial I mean this tutorial this is a time lapse so just connecting all those down right there now we're gonna work on the actual playing card symbols starting off with the hearts as you can see there Put a little bit of HD clear tape on there. Very carefully going to cut out the hearts. I'm not actually going to use the A's on the um, paper there. I'm going to cut out ones myself and kind of add a little bit of my own style to it. So I'm going to cut that out. I actually forgot to do them, so I'm going to do that right now on there. So you got your first one and your second one. Not quite exactly the same as the the A's on the uh, paper, but that's okay. It'll be a little bit different. So now you have all the hearts and the two A's for the ace. So now we're going to apply those onto the back of the wallet here. So I had to put it on the back. So applying the little two little pieces. Transferring them can be a little tricky because you don't want them to rip. And that did happen later on in the time lapse. You'll get to see that eventually. So now I'm going to set that back down. The whole uh, wallet is kind of resting at the moment, trying to make sure that it does stay, you know, closed and folded as long as it, I can get it. I would usually lay it down for like an hour or so before I start putting the decorations on, but for this time lapse, obviously, I didn't have the, uh, the luxury of doing that. So, working on the Ace of Spades next. This one's a little more tricky because you got that stem on the spade. Now I'm going to cut out the A's. The clubs is actually the hardest one. That's going to be. I saved that for last, so you'll see the uh, diamonds next. Decided to put the Ace of Spades on the front of the wallet. So sticking those on now. Very carefully transferring all those tiny little designs onto the wallet. Now we're going to work on the diamonds. Diamonds is the obviously the easiest one. You can pretty much tell because the symbols are the easiest to cut out. Didn't even use any packaging tape on this part because it just wasn't necessary. Okay, so we're getting towards the end of the, uh, the time lapse here, only the clubs after this. And it did have a little trouble with the clubs, so you'll get to see that in a few seconds. All right, so putting that little diamond on. That's actually right above the credit card holder, so I didn't have to overlap at all. It worked out pretty well for that. Now working on to the clubs. As you can tell, this is going to be the most complicated because there are a lot of rounded edges. There are a lot of different ways to cut, and I wasn't really sure if it, when I was cutting it if it was actually going to work out because you know you never really know until you pull the entire strip up and hopefully it doesn't come up with the strip. So those smaller clubs were a lot harder, and you're going to see a little bit of trouble later on in a few seconds with uh, when I peel those up because they were really thin on the inside and they kind of just came apart but I was still able to salvage them so you'll get to see that in a second. So cutting out the A's, very carefully going to rip it up and now you'll see a little bit, do a little bit of trimming. It, it didn't actually quite come out looking like a club but I can just do a little bit of trimming on that to make sure that it looks okay, makes it looks a little more rounded. So doing a little trimming, now I'm going to start sticking them on the inside here. 
So putting that on, very carefully going to peel that up so it doesn't rip. A lot of different parts to that, so make sure it doesn't you know get all tangled up there. So I got that on. Now you start to see, you know, part of it actually break off there, but the good thing is I can just apply it right back on. It doesn't go anywhere, it just rips on a certain spot. This one actually split in half, and I just very carefully put that on, and just kind of assembling a puzzle there. So that's the uh, the duct tape playing card wall, as you can see there. A pretty cool creation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time on the channel.